Hey guys, another vlog. Um, been a while, but however, this video it actually is sa akin parang importante talaga that I have to put it out there due to its increasing concern sa ating nation. Um, let me make an introduction of this topic by saying that uh, ang cancel culture or kultura ng pagkakansel ay hindi talaga maka Pilipino. Una, dahil hindi po nanggagaling yun sa atin. It came from a foreign entity. Pinapauso lang po ang ganyang klaseng kultura. Dito sa Pilipinas, in in ways na parang sabihin na lang natin mas malicious pa sa compare sa mga ginagawa ng majority. So, cancel culture. Ano ba pa kasi ang definition ng cancel culture? Di, di tignan natin ngayon sa description ng ka, ano, sa internet kung ano talaga ang cancel culture. We, I mean, by saying, by just typing, define cancel culture. Okay. Ngayon, if we, ano, if we actually zoom enough dito sa video at makikita ninyo na ang by wikipedia lang to ah, information this is an initial ano pag kayo ay curious to see the answer mas best pa kaysa naman we just see it in the face value especially to those na hindi nila naididiyan cancel culture or call out culture is a modern form of on um, ostracism in which someone is uh, someone is thrust out of social or prof uh, professional circles whether it be online or social media or in person those subject to this uh, ostracism is said to have been cancelled so ano kasi ang ostracism ang ostracism dito ilalagay na natin sa i-google natin ito meaning na by typing its definition define yeah. definition ng ostracism na exclusion from a society or a group and then temporary banishment from a city by popular vote you know before kasi by popular vote Bafi popular vote is actually pag, pag isa sabi mo popular vote parang nandoon na kasi yung majority when there's a majority that means that it's actually democrat eh, eh by democracy's practice na ikakancel ang isang tao kaya or to exclude that tao by society by majority wala by majority na ikakancel yung tao yun i banishment o ano man ang bibigay na hato sa kanya. However, in this time and age, especially sa uh, particularly sa sa Pilipinas, ang isang this or act of uh, ostracism, yung i-exclude sila sa society sa group, nagiging siyang forceful, nagiging siyang parang a form of mob mentality. Ano ibig sabihin nun ng mob mentality? Ito. Define. Ganit lang, madali lang eh. Hanapin lang ninyo. Tapos, um, i-type in lang talaga ninyo na as uh, sa ano, sa system ninyo is um, its definition. Kaya lang ha. Okay. Ayusin ko lang yung window kasi medyo nagkagalo. Okay. Ito. By definition, ito, we will say, we will type define mob mentality. Ano kasi yung, yung connection ng mob mentality at saka yung cancel culture? Ito yun. Um, what is mob mentality? Mob mentality is when people adjust their personal views to fit the group they, they are in. To learn the signs what caused it and how to avoid the mob mentality so 
by definition someone had a hard men um heard a herd mentality or mob mentality influenced by peers adopting certain behaviors kasi ang isang pagmamab mentality for example na ang mga tao na karamihan na adjust yung talag na bigla silang na, na biglang na adjust yung kanilang paniniwala o interest or anything in aid of that certain person na nag-conduct ng mob mentality once nakuha niya na talaga na yung mga isang kahit maliit na grupo yan sabihin natin sige guys i-boy- i-boycott na natin ng ano ang angkas umpisa nagsimula na yung mob mentality kasi e, tara tara sige mag mob mentality tayo boom He ha- when that person has enough people to to perform a, ma- a mob mentality tumasok na tayo sa pag um, sa mga bagay mga tools para mato para magamit ng mga mob mentality na yun which is one of them is canceling ostracism meaning para i-cancel natin yung tao ito kaya in all of that movement lahat ng pag-movement na yun ay nasa, nangagaling sa isang masamang source that being said going back nung nagkaroon nga ng mob mentality sa Pilipinas what are the actually the effects of the mob mentality like you know, isang tao katulad ng ito naghahanap siya ng parang sige mag-mob mentality siya And then after nag-mob mentality na to nakuha siya ng enough number of people to cancel people like the Gonzaga sisters recently. Tinan mo, itong text, particularly, let's focus on this text talaga. Ito yon. Sabi niya, it's time to teach the Gonzaga sisters a lesson by unfollowing and unsubscribing from all their succumb platforms. No to apologist and revisionist. Ito na naman. Sa mga ganitong tao, naging mihingi siya ng parang Nangihingi siya ng maraming ng mga grupo na mag-gather uh, sa kanyang platform para itumba. Dead, targeted tao. Paano ma- ma-fulfill lang yung tao? Yung pagka-cancel culture. Excuse me, late na ngayon eh. Kaya naantok. But just this is going to be short. So once na nga nag-reach nga sila ng ganun kaysa of yung type of number dahil dito, dahil lang sa ganito ang klaseng mentality na to, kaysa naman, ano, kaysa naman yung nag-gather nila ay parang well-informed naman, tama naman, legally, um, morally mali, kung legally mali, morally mali lahat, and then if you gather it, and then siguro you will have not a, a mom mentality, not a cancel culture, you are a revolution. We've, kaya lang, mga taong dito, they don't really have enough guts. Sa tingin ko kasi, they don't have enough guts to actually go out there in person para lang to make a, to they make a loud vo- noise about it. Kaya, I mean, if a person like these two the celebrities are may finifalo nga sila, nasa kanila na rin yun. I mean, they already, they already, ano na, they already formed the line na kung sino talaga yung sign na pupuntahan nila. I mean, I know that there were some mga artista din na na sino yung pinafollow nila yun. They, it's, it's really difficult for for a, a, a person of huge influence para pumili yung kanilang political side. Especially political side. But however, pag dumating naman yung ganong klaseng ano, affiliation, there's a tendency talaga na, uh, na may magkocontra. And of course, Before nila sinento, before nila ginawang public na magkapatid na, na kung saan yung affiliations nila, they already actually thought about it very, very careful, I'm sure. I mean, kasi nobody likes cancel culture in the Philippines. Karamihan yan. Nobody likes it. Kasi it's like a form of a backfighting eh. Yung pag-cancel culture eh. Maninira ka ng isang kapang mong tao. What any means, kahit siguro ang cancel culture is as simple as uh, ikalat mo ang maling informasyon sa mga kapitbahay mo that this other kapitbahay is doing bad things para maghumingi ka ng sipatya sa lahat ng buong barangay na itong kapitbahay mo na to ay hindi maganda. 
nilalo was ever. It only going to sound them. It only going to make them look stupid, especially kung lalo lalo na kung wala talaga ng to panini ano, walang evidence to back up their claim. So that being said, bakit bakit kasi going back dito sa another example is bakit di itong nangyari nung sa ano sa Quezon City um, caravan. BBM Sara, they were here, nandito yung mga supports, but also dito yung angkas. This blue does is not actually says that they're affili- politically, aff- politically affiliated to a certain candidate or a certain political party. This is their uniform. They are actually on duty at the same time showing their support to Bongbong Marcos. Because why are they showing so much support dito mga taga-angkas? It has to go back to the situation nga nang nangyari sa 2018 which is I mean, Marcos disapproved the TRO a temporary restraining order on Angkas of course naglalaban ni Madam Amy ang rights ang legal rights ng mga Angkas that they can actually also deliver the service that the, of the people karamihan the majority of the Filipino who can't afford tax, who can't afford grab, but they will very well uh, rip, uh, afford to to ride an angkas. It's also convenient and affordable, but, and, but, and, but also at the same time, it saves a lot of traveling time. Naintindihan ni Ma'am Aimi Makos na importante talaga din yung angkas because it can actually um, can actually beat its competition. So that being said, I myself, I'm actually fascinated to ride a bike rather than to, to drive a car one of these days sa Pilipinas. Kaya yung mga ganitong klaseng mga mentality, like tulad ng itong tao, paid and moon. Uh, I don't know if this is, if this is his ano, original picture, kaya lang. Ito nga sinabi, so we now boycott Angkas and let, the, uh, penila, let their penniless ri- uh, riders, are you sure, penniless? remain the poorest of the poor talagang you are really ano ha you are really targeting a certain demographic ng karamihan ng mga Pilipino uh, sa nation we can't afford car we can't afford a car the least thing that they can afford of is their their bike <clears throat> and then just wear the uniform ng angkas and then the ano uh Sabihin na lang natin um, go on with the with the business. Bakit uh, tatangki ano? Tama ba bakit tatangki ang mga yan eh gusto naman pala talaga nilang maghirap. Idadada eh, may patayo. Sorry hindi dapat kawawaan mga yan. You you ano, you have to at sorry din sa iyo. Kung yun ang nakikita mo. The spade and moon about the angkas um because um not all poros of the four ride bikes just to let you know and then there will be a, pes- uh, a possibility na hindi lahat sila ay poros of the poor some also ride for the passion of it I, um you have to really really be careful of uh, pag-aapak nito and ito yun yung mga bagay na nagka-cancel culture bakit kasi sinasabi ko na yung cancel culture hindi talaga ang mga Pilipino is because hindi talaga natin at ano, ugali na mani, ano, maninir, manira ng isang tao lalo lalo na sa internet eh, la, eh kapitbahay mo lang siya or something and siya may kanya-kanya rin silang dahilan na bakit ginagawa nila yung business na yon. So, yung kultura ng pagka-cancel is that um, naging toxic na siya to the point na eh, it can be an elitist, it can be uh, done by an elitist, done by hindi lang opposition but also an elitist or an oligarch. It can be also like kina para lang ito pa lang nila yung business ng angkas para lang aangat yung mga business ng mga iba kaya lang 
kaya lang yung ganitong klaseng movement is uh, I'm thankful naman na marami pa rin tao na nandiyan sa mundo na they already know they already know better than to backfire someone or, some, or, or, or a movement like that okay, bigyan natin ng respeto but lalo na nabibigyan rin natin na, ng respeto yung mga iba kung may malakas talaga ang reason nila na, na paniniwala nila doon over sa paniniwala ng BBM sa Ratander kaya lang kung ang argument lang nila ay baseless walang basihan sabi lang nila na uh, bahay dahil mabait lang yung politician na yun, pogi o maganda o anything but not hearing the platform not all not seeing the platform reading the platform and also uh, especially na kakali ano kina nagiging sikat lang dahil or bubutohin lang dahil through um, popularity um, unfortunately maraming mga magagaling na, na senators at lalo, lalo na sa mga, mga congressman na they could they did not make it and hopefully Uh, will make it this time but in a, hopefully in the coming days makuha na natin lahat ng official list again natural culture um, it's gonna happen always gonna happen naman and uh, I hope naman lahat, na, lahat ng business owners at saka kliyente ng business na yan um, affected man sila sa cancel culture Um, I'm sure naman, you can just voice, voice it out in your platform, in your social media platform, and then and then I'm sure na yung mga supporters will come and support you. Will come and help you out. Kasi um, um, hindi tama yung ginagawang ganyang simple practice even especially naman hindi yan, hindi yan talaga nang galing sa atin nang gagaling talaga yan sa Amerika and you know the effect of cancel culture doon sa Amerika nowadays kung hindi kayo nakikinig o nanonood is actually negative negative na rin especially especially ah, kung ikaw like for example si Spade and Moon tatanungin siya, tatanungin siya ng ano, ng pinag-a-applyan niyang trabaho na, o oh, sige, p- pwede pang pahingi yung aking sir, yung social media mo. Like, uh, like this, pwede mo, pwede nga, tingnan ko nga yung ano, yung, yung, um, imong, <laughs> imong Twitter. Tapos nabasa nila to. Doon sa Amerika, what will happen is, they will not accept this employee. Not because their skill is la- was lacking, not because they lack the professionalism the experience but unfortunately some company especially in America they are not going to uh, accept somebody who is actually fighting for a cause that they do not understand or not even I don't know they're just trying to throw words at you smart words in English but in reality the true definition of the word they are butchering it so that and yeah, that includes cancel cancel culture kaya in the end of the day um, pag uh, may makita man tayong mga itong kulturang pagka-cancel um, you guys know what to do I mean everybody has their own level of uh, understanding and ability to what they can do when, this, when these things occur pag lumalabas na siya biglaan sa buhay natin but uh, but however also stand true to to who you are going to vote that being said I'm just gonna wait for the official list of uh, candidates sa Halalan 2022 from Comelec then I will just lay down my list um, okay so yun lang po yung aking take sa mga ganyang klaseng kultura cancel culture not for Filipino in the end should not be welcome should not ever ever welcome to be welcome sa Filipinas and then uh Let us put our standards as higher as before, because we, if we actually need to be the, uh, to be respected, then we have to be, we have to act respectable. We don't cancel, we don't counter all the cancel culture like that. Or the, we don't fight fire with fire. Standards are high, 
knowing better know better that being said god bless good luck sa mga sa mga nagboboto and hopefully we will win on the election day take care